This is quite a good question that they asked in one of the June 2022 papers on radians and differentiation. So pause the video if you want to have a go and I'll go through the answer now. Okay, so for this question, we're given this diagram here, and we're told that this diagram shows a design for a solid toy that looks like a piece of cheese. And the toy is modelled so that, and then we're given these five bullet points here, which are essentially given to us in the diagram. We're told the face A, B, C, which is this up here, is a sector of a circle with radius R and centre A. We're told that angle B, A, C, which is this here, is 0 0.8 radians. We're told the face A, B, C, and D, E, F, which is this face down here, are congruent. We're told the edges A, D, C, F, and B, E are perpendicular to these faces. And we're told that e these edges, they all have a length of H. And given that the volume of the toy is 240, we need to show that the surface area of the toy, which is given by S, is this formula here. And this is for four marks, okay? So this part about the volume of the toy, let's ignore this for now. Let's first focus on the surface area. So this is S. So to get the surface area, we need to find the area of all the faces. And there are five faces here. We have this face at the top. This is this sector which is A, B, C and then we also have this sector at the bottom here which is D, E, F down here we have this rectangle here which is A, C, F, D and then we also have this rectangle on the other side this is A, B, E, D and then we have this curved face here which is C, B, E, F. So we need to find the area of all of these faces. Let's start with A, B, C. So this is this sector up here. We talked about in year two, uh, chapter five, in the radio chapter, we talked about areas of sector. The area of a sector is equal to half R squared theta, where R is the radius and theta is the angle at the center of the sector. So for A, B, C, which is a sector, this is half. We know the radius, we're given its r, so we're going to call this r squared. And this is multiplied by theta, and we know that this angle at the center is 0 0.8. So a, b, c is equal to half times 0 0.8, which is 0 0.4 r squared like this here so this is a b c and d e f because we're told in the question that this is congruent this is going to have the same area so d e f is equal to 0 0.4 r squared as well so we know d e f let's focus on a c f d so this is this rectangle here we know the length of a c this is the radius r and we know the length of a d this is h so the area of a c f D, this is the area of um, this rectangle here, it's just going to be these two sides multiplied together, so it's going to be R times H. This is this area of this rectangle here. This A, B, E, D is the same rectangle, so A, B, E, D is also going to be equal to R, H. This is this face here. Now we focus on this curved face here. This is C, B, E, F. So we know that C, F is H. So we know the length of this side here. We need to know the length of C, B. Now this is the arc to this sector. Now remember, for an arc, the length of an arc is given by R, theta. Again, R is the radius of theta is the angle of the center of the sector. So therefore, the length of the arc, which is C, B, this is going to be R multiplied by theta, which is 0 0.8 here so therefore c b is equal to 0 0.8 r so therefore c b e f is going to be equal to this c b side which is 0 0.8 r multiplied by c f here which is going to be h this is going to be 0 0.8 R H like this is so this is C B E F so now we can put together a formula for S so S is equal to A B C so we found that A B C is 0 0.4 R squared and this is plus D E F and we know that this is also 0 0.4 R squared, then this is plus the two rectangles here, ACFD and ABED, and we know that both of these 
R, R, H, so R, H plus R, H, and then this is plus this face here, C, B, E, F, and we figured out that this is 0 0.8 R, H, like this here, and we can simplify this, we can say that S is equal to, so 0 0.4 R squared plus 0 0.4 R squared is 0 0.8 R squared, and then RH plus RH plus 0.8 RH is equal to 2.8 RH, like this here. Okay, so we have this formula here for S, and we need to show it can be written in this format here. Now, the issue with this formula is we only have R terms present, whereas here we also have this H term. So we need to get rid of this, and the way that we can do this is by using the fact that the volume of the toy is 240 centimeters cubed. If we look at this shape here, if we're trying to find the volume of it, okay, this is actually a cuboid. We have this face up here, ABC, and we've talked about the area of this sector here is equal to half R squared of theta. This is a cuboid with the height being H here. So therefore, all we can do is multiply the area of this face here by the height, which is H, and this gives us a formula for the volume of this shape here. And what we can do is we can use the fact that we know the volume is 240 and this is going to be equal and then we can sub the values in so it's half r squared so it's half r is the radius so this is r squared multiplied by theta and we've talked about really that theta is 0 0.8 and this is multiplied by the height which we know is h like this so we can simplify this because it's going to be 240 is equal to half times 0 0.8 which is 0 0.4 and then it's going to be r squared h like this here we need to sub out h from this formula here so if we make h the subject so we divide both sides by 0 0.4 r squared it's going to be 240 over 0.4 r squared is equal to h so therefore h is going to be equal to if you do 240 divided by 0 0.4 is equal to 600 so 600 over r squared so if we sub this 600 over r squared for h in this s formula here it's going to be s is equal to 0 0.8 r squared and this is plus 2.8 r and then instead of h here i'm going to sub in the 600 over r squared we can simplify this so we're going to say that s is equal to 0 0.8 r squared then this is going to be plus and then 2.8 multiplied by 600 is equal to 1680 and then this is going to be over so we have this r multiplied by this r squared denominator so this r will cancel out with one of the r's down here and just leave us with r in the denominator like this here and this is what's required s is equal to 0 0.8 r squared plus 1680 over r Okay, and then for part B, we need to use algebraic differentiation to find the value of R for which S has a stationary point for four marks. Okay, so remember, stationary points exist when the derivative is equal to zero. So in the case of this formula here, it's going to be ds over dr, and it's going to be where this is equal to zero. And we need to find the value of R for which this is the case. So what we're going to do is this formula here for S, we're going to differentiate this in order to get ds over dr. I'm just going to rewrite this slightly as S is equal to 0 0.8 R squared plus 1680R to the power of minus 1, and this is a bit easier to differentiate. So if we differentiate this here, it's going to be ds over dr is equal to 0 0.8 and this is multiplied by and if you differentiate r squared this is equal to 2r then this is going to be plus 1680 and this is multiplied by and if you differentiate r to the power of minus 1 this minus 1 is going to come down as a coefficient so it's going to be minus r and now it's going to be to the power of minus 2 like this here so therefore ds over dr is equal to 0 0.8 times 2 which is 1.6 r and then this is going to be and we're going to bring this minus to the front here so it's going to be minus 1680 r to the power of minus 2 like this here so we talked about the stationary points exist where ds over dr is equal to 0 so if we equal this to 0 here so it's going to be 0 is equal to 1.6 r and then minus i'm going to rewrite this here as 1680 over r squared like 
this here. So we have this r squared in the denominator, so we multiply everything here by the denominator r squared. So on this side, it's still going to be zero. Now here, as we've got this r here, it's going to be 1.6 r cubed, and we're just going to be left with 1680 here. If we get rid of this r squared denominator, bring this minus 1680 to the other side, so we get that 1680 is equal to 1.6 r cubed, and then divide both sides by 1.6, so we get that r cubed is equal to, if you put it into your calculator, 1050, and then take the cube root of both sides, so we get the r, if you put this into your calculator, it doesn't really matter to how many decimal places, it's equal to 10.16, and r is in centimetres. So this stationary point exists where r is equal to 10.16. Okay, and then for part C, we need to prove by further differentiation that this value of R gives the minimum surface area of the toy for two marks. So this question is essentially asking us, this stationary point here, we need to prove that this is a minimum. Now, it gives us a clue by saying further differentiation, so this is a clue we need to find the second derivative. And the way that we can do this is remember the minimum stationary point exists when the second derivative, so in this case d squared s over d, dr squared. This minimum exists if this second derivative is bigger than zero for this r value for the stationary point 10.16. Okay, so firstly we need to find the second derivative. So we know that the first derivative ds over dr is equal to this here. So if we differentiate this again, so it's going to be d squared s over dr dr squared. This is equal to, as we differentiate 1.6 r, this r will just go away and be 1.6. And then this is minus 1680 multiplied by, and if you differentiate r to the power of minus 2, this minus 2 will come down as a coefficient, and then it's going to be r to the power of minus 3, like this here. So d squared s of dr squared is equal to 1.6 and then we've got this minus times this minus it's now going to be a plus and then 1680 times 2 if you put it into your calculator is equal to 3360 that's going to be r to the power of minus 3 we can write this quickly d squared s over dr squared we can write this as 1.6 plus 3360 over r cubed like this here. So now we need to sub in the r value for the stationary point that we found which is 10.16. So if we sub, sub this in it's going to be d squared s over dr squared is equal to 1.6 plus 3360 over 10.16 to the power of 3. And if you put this into your calculator you get out a value of 4.804 this is bigger than zero so d squared s over dr squared is bigger than zero so therefore this is a minimum and this will give you the final answer